You're listening to 700 Jock AM. It has to come from the diaphragm, which... It, let me show you. It's between the pubic girdle and the breasts. Can you feel that? Yes. Can you feel how big it is? Yes, I can. There is a lot of room in your diaphragm. Now breathe in. Breathe in deeply. That looks good. Thank you. Now, go and give that feeling to your listeners. Very good. Yes. Fatima, station manager. Fatima, thank you for having me. It wasn't my idea. This was all Frank. David's waiting for you. David, your vocal coach, Gilles. Call me Giles. Uh, I have the job already. Just try it. Is this coming from Margaret? Thanks so much, David. Uh, I'm an on-air radio personality. Yes, I've heard your work. Um, there's room for improvement. Let's sit down. Guys? Frank here. If you have a post-secondary degree, if you had a happy childhood, and if you vote anything but conservative, then I have one thing to say. Have more babies. The reasonable left-wing socialists of this country are not procreating fast enough. But if you work in a trade, or are an unskilled laborer, or if you have little education, or if you're white and you pretend that you're a rapper, then I want to talk to you about a pain-free vasectomy. You're in and out in one hour. And best of all, no unwanted babies. Don't become a welfare statistic. Don't become a deadbeat dad. Get your tubes tied today. Google Dr. Khan and tell him that Bunt sent you. That was interesting. What did you think? Did you rewrite some copy? I sparked it up a bit. I think what you're suggesting is eugenics. And it's illegal. Selective breeding happens all the time in nature, pre. When they give you a vasectomy, can you still get a heart on? No. No, they cut your penis off, Alberta. You. And the Vancouver Canucks have a split a home at home, bringing their record to just above 500. Can you hear what you're doing there? You're, go you're going up and you're going down. Up and down. Not terribly. The Vancouver Canucks have split a home at home, bringing their record to just above five... Now, now you're forcing it, which is good. You've got to fake it to make it. Let, let's, let's get up on our feet. Let's do some work. Let me just come in behind you here. Your diaphragm begins at your pubic bone oh, and goes hey. all the way up to your breast. Yes? No. Say Fanar. Fanar! Fanar! You're still touching me. I'm not comfortable with this. It's for your own good. Oh, you've got some nerve. You read my memo. Are you crazy? This won't fly, Frank. You're not the programmer here. I am. Is it crazy to want original radio? To want some sentence structure, maybe some proper grammar? You've already got Sir Lawrence of Herlebia in there winding David up. Now you want me to ban all catchphrases? But not all of them. Just the most heinous. We can start slow. No. I got the tape fast. I hate you, and you're stressing me out. And you split an infinitive, asshole. Please stop using the word caveat. Most of you are using it incorrectly. Please refrain from using too much growl to punctuate your sentences. But that's my thing. We are committed to bringing original and el eloquent. eloquent sports programming. Thank you for your cooperation. What the fuck is this, Preet? Have you ever heard of an earworm? All of these things I say, repeatedly. An earworm is something annoying, like a part of a song or something someone says that gets stuck in your ear and bugs you. 
It's an actual scientific phenomenon. Well, for two years I had Whitney Houston's version of I Will Always Love You in my head. You're one. It was a Tina Turner song that got rid of it. We don't need another arrow. Thunderdome. Good song. Ugh. The best. No, I don't care what Mel Gibson does. I love that guy. He's breathtakingly handsome. He was a family man. <laughs> Do the math on that one. Yeah? <clears throat> Alright. I gotta take care of this. My point was that catchphrases can be earworms too. Kima, okay, what the fuck is. Oh, sorry. Hello, Barry. Margaret, so nice to see you again. Sorry. The morning is still dismal and it's getting worse. Well, we've been focusing on getting some guests. That little guy is a terrible interviewer and with no discernible personality. And the fat one keeps mentioning his uh, religious beliefs. We have spoken to Mike about that yesterday. He thanked Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, amen, for his hernia operation. I'll mention it. Mm-hmm. No memo. Face to face. Say it like you mean it. I own 13 other television and radio stations, yet I seem to spend most of my time here at Jock AM. You're costing me money, Fatima. The next time I'm here, it'll be to fire you. Walk me out. Bag me. Everybody listen to Sports Talk Radio. We talk about sports on the radio. We got some advice and opinions. They're unsolicited and broadcast on the radio. Sound our voices make cause we talk nonsense every day. Sports Talk Radio!